I think it first started the end of June. I had fever for a couple of nights in a row. Three weeks later, the fever came back again, two nights in a row, went away. And it was just about that time, in, in retrospect, that I began to lose my appetite and began to lose weight. And a couple of days later, we had a trip planned via boat uh, from Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin, over to an island in uh, Michigan. We went, and I was really sick the whole time. As a matter of fact, I got so short of breath that I knew something was definitely wrong. And a week from that date, my husband and I had a trip planned to Japan for 10 days. So I went in to see the doctor and told him I thought I had a lung problem. He did a chest x-ray, uh, listened to my heart, and he said, you don't have a lung problem. You're in atrial fibrillation. As a matter of fact, you're going right to a heart hospital here in Milwaukee now. <laughs> so I did. I was there in the emergency room for four or five hours, went into a room, and of course they did all kind of tests. The doctor came in the next morning and told me I could go home and to come back and see him after I made my trip to Japan. And uh, I said, you know, I just don't feel comfortable with this. I think I want my records transferred up to our home in the Monaco area. There's a cardiologist in Woodruff that we know. So <clears throat> I took all my records with me, went in to see Dr. Roy as soon as I get into town. And Dr. Roy said, I just don't feel comfortable with what I'm seeing here. I think there might be more to this than atrial fibrillation. I think there might be a blockage. He said, uh, don't ordinarily do a stress test while a person is in atrial fibrillation, but in your case, with this impending trip, I feel that it's necessary. And I knew then <clears throat> that I was in the right hands. 30 minutes later, I was in his office having a stress test. A short time later, he walked in and said, it's not good. You're going straight to the hospital in Weston. You're going to St. Clair's. They're going to be waiting on you there, and uh, they're going to do a catheterization and see what the extent of your problem is. Well, they were waiting for me when I got here. Dr. Roy had called ahead, and I think within five minutes after I came through that front door, I was down in a room, and all the girls in red, I don't remember their names, of course, were just busy as bees getting me ready to get into the operating room to get the procedure done. And I just felt very comfortable and very certain that I was in the right hands. It was like almost a miracle. I mean, <laughs> I know that's a cliche, but it, it almost was. I really feel like Dr. Roy and the team of cardiologists here saved my life.